Good morning and welcome to Love Every Moment, coming to you today from St. John, New Brunswick. Today's verse is 1 John 3:12. Not as Cain, who was of the evil one and slew his brother. And for what reason did he slay him? Because his deeds were evil and his brothers were righteous. Well, of course, we really need to see last week's verse to put this in context, and I have the link up here, which basically said, this is the message you've heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. And then we got this week's verse, not as Cain. So Cain slew his brother. It's pretty obvious there's no love there. And uh, I know that's pretty extreme, but remember, the Bible also very clearly talks about if you hate your brother, it's the same thing as murder. That is mentioned in the Sermon on the Mount, and it's going to be mentioned about three weeks from now, three or four weeks from now, that says everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. That's verse 15 of 1 John 3. So we really need to trace this back, and I thought I would look through a couple of other times when Cain is mentioned in the New Testament, because this is quite interesting. Let's look at the main one, which is Hebrews 11.4. By faith, Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain through which he obtained the testimony that he was righteous, God testifying about his gifts, and through faith, though he is dead, he still speaks. So, both Cain and Abel offered a sacrifice. Let's think about what the word sacrifice really is. Think this through. If we love God more than anyone else or anything else, then basically everything is a sacrifice. I love you more than my money. I love you more than my food. I love you more than my social position. I love you more than anything in my life or anyone in my life. And that's the sacrifice. That's what God desires. God wanted a certain sacrifice from Cain and Abel. Abel said, yes, I'll give you anything you want. You can have it. But Cain said, I'm not going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you something else, right? And he wanted to keep the meat for himself, right? Uh, So this was the difference here. Now, it says that uh, obtain the testimony that he was righteous, that Abel was righteous. Remember, this was not coming out of Abel's own self-righteousness. I gave meat, and therefore I am righteous. No, no, no. The implication is clear. Abel loved God, and through that love, he allowed God to have anything he wanted. And so that's why Abel's offering was really acceptable. It comes back to love. Cain withheld that love and love something else more than God. And so that's why his offering was less than acceptable. One other time that a, or excuse me, Cain is mentioned in the New Testament is in Jude verse 11. It says, Woe to them, for they have gone the way of Cain. And to put this in context, it's talking mostly about false teachers, those who have crept into the church with the idea of licentiousness, spending God's grace on themselves. I can do anything I want because God's grace is good, you know, and so forth. And woe to them, they've gone the way of Cain. Again, they're loving stuff more than God. Okay, and now, let's see here. I uh, want to go back to our main verse. Not as Cain, who was of the evil one, and slew his brother. And for what reason did he slay him? Because his deeds were evil, and his brothers were righteous. When we love God, that righteousness is going to naturally happen. And those who are set on the world standard, they're going to hate us. They're going to hate that righteousness, because they see we've got the right relationship with God. So there will be some hatred of that. Let's not, of course, return that hatred with hatred. Let's return it with love. As you see, it all really comes back to love. So let's love every moment, and then we're going to love every moment. I'm your average wretch, and I hope you have a great week.